Hey Scorpio, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So for this reading, I want to look at what someone wants you to know. So I'm going to be channeling um, the energies of those around you. Um, and really, this is me being a messenger, you know, truly, uh, this is a message from them to you. And I'm just kind of like in the middle. So maybe you're connecting to somebody at this time, uh, could be a friend, a family member, maybe it's someone that you, um, you know, are no longer close to. Uh, maybe there is a separation in your life at this time that is really starting to, you know, get to you and you're trying to figure out, you know, what's going on on their end. Maybe you haven't communicated with this person um, or there's just something that's in between the two of you. So this is primarily for those of you that don't have um, that consistent kind of feedback um, from this person, you know, like the feedback loop. You send a message, they send one back. This is for really those of you that are looking to see what is on the other side of the, uh, the screen. So let's go ahead and um, see what the tarot has to say. And if you like this type of reading, let me know. And I will um, continue to do them because this is a little bit new. All right, so we have the Five of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So um, I feel like whoever you are thinking about at this time, Scorpio, they could have, um, I feel like someone is either ashamed, um, embarrassed, or just having general negative feelings about something that could have happened between the two of you, um, which may be why there is a separation um, to begin with. I feel like the Five of Swords could represent the fact that someone here is... Um, I feel like someone is recognizing that they can't take something back, you know, and I feel like that's starting to come through in their energy so much so that they could be um, almost projecting that. Um, it's almost like they anticipate um, the reality that you could potentially let them go or that you could potentially um, come to realize that this doesn't work for you. I feel like they could already kind of sense that. And for those of you that are, you know, maybe thinking, well, I don't want to let them go. I'm just not really satisfied or happy with the way things are right now. I feel like um, they just sense the overall kind of energy. Um, and I feel like that's really what's um, drawing this wedge between the two of you. For those of you that maybe this is not necessarily a romantic connection, um, I feel like there's just something um, that this person is dealing with that they don't feel comfortable sharing just yet. So maybe you are, you know, seeing this um, situation unfold and you're like, wow, they're kind of holding something uh, from me or keeping something from me, right? They're not telling me, they're not disclosing the truth. I feel like they're doing that for um, a reason that is different than what it looks like. Okay, so um, I think that the person that you are connecting to here, I feel like what they want you to really understand is that they still care about you. Um, maybe they just don't know how to show it. So we have the Queen of Wands, the Ten of Wands, and the Seven of Swords. So that Seven of Swords is that deceptive energy. It's kind of like, you know, I, I don't see how that makes sense. Um, I feel like they should be able to tell me that, right? Maybe you don't fully understand why they're being this way, but I think that you just assume that they can trust you and you're just confused, right? So sometimes I feel like that happens when people are very close and then something very out of the ordinary occurs and, the, and then that person is all of a sudden, um, it's, come, it's almost like they're out of their element and you are just simply unaware of what's going on because they just haven't explained it to you. I feel like the Queen of Wands is that energy of nurturing, it's the caring, it's the um, you know, it's the energy of, I still want this to thrive, or it's almost like someone is wanting to maybe escape the situation and run to you, but they just can't. And so um, they're just kind of holding in all of that love for you um, at the moment. But the Queen of Wands could also represent the fact that you uh, may be embracing um, a different side of yourself. And maybe this doesn't really bother you as much as you thought it would. And so there's a lot of really interesting ways that this can go. I think that overall your self-awareness about this is increasing. And maybe if you haven't heard from this person for a while, you're starting to get to that point where you're like, doesn't affect me. I'm officially used to it, right? It's kind of like you are still going on and doing uh, what you need to do in order to thrive. Ten of Wands could be um, that feeling of uh, maybe this is ending, right? Sometimes when things 
go wrong in a relationship or in a situation, we kind of eventually get to this point where we're like, I think this is over, right? Um, it's not an official it's over though. It feels like it's still very much up in the air. Um, and it really is going to take you and this person to come back together, um, not necessarily, you know, get back together, but just come together and have a sort of uh, closure or, or a discussion about it to really give you that clarity of whether or not this is over for sure. Because I feel like right now what could be bothering you is not knowing uh, for a fact if you need to move on, if you need to um, change your plans, right? It's kind of like you are now at the mercy of the situation fully being transparent because you've got things that you need to do. And so um, very real and valid um, root responses here to this uh, situation. So let's go ahead and clarify the Seven of Swords. All right, six of swords at the bottom of the deck. You know, it feels like the wheels are going to start turning when you least expect it. Because I sense that maybe um, this person is not necessarily communicating, but they're planning. They're still um, kind of thinking about certain things. And so it's not that you're not moving forward with them. It's just you're not sure yet of how they plan on doing it. Because that six of swords is almost alluding to, um, you know, kind of like this miraculous change of direction and suddenly you go from moving backwards to on a steady path um, where maybe that might even take you aback, right? You're just kind of like, where is this coming from? I thought we weren't speaking, right? It's almost like some people can really surprise us um, with that sudden change in how they um, are, you know, behaving towards us and we need a second to just try to process that. So we have the Page of Wands, King of Wands, and the Four of Swords. Um, I feel like the Four of Swords could be about really needing to detach from what you're seeing and how you feel about it. Because for some reason, sometimes um, maybe this person makes you uh, feel really emotional or like um, maybe you have very strong feelings for them. And so when they do something that is maybe out of line, that kind of like creates this very um, intense reaction, right? I feel like the universe is like, let's separate uh, maybe the relationship from the person for this moment because um, I feel like the universe is wanting you to kind of establish that protective uh, barrier, you know, for, for the sake of what's going on right now because it does really feel like an, an out of the ordinary situation. This doesn't feel like it's something that normally happens. It feels very new in a sense, uh, which is what that page of wands could also indicate here like maybe this is the first time you and this person are going through something like this and you're just like I need to figure it out but I don't know what what's really going on I feel like you're gonna get the truth and the clarity of this uh pretty soon because I feel like whoever you're connecting to is is really wanting to um kind of establish something and I feel like they are starting to realize that if they don't make the um expectations clear that is not going to work. This could also represent, because now that I'm looking at it, we have Queen of Wands and the King of Wands. So that's that perfect match. Um, I feel like maybe you're realizing um, that this person didn't want you to see a side of them because they were waiting to maybe become more, uh, more like the person you want them to be or the person that... Um, they want to be for you was more really what I uh, wanted to say. It's kind of like they didn't want you to see them until they were in their full form yet. You know, it's kind of like sometimes, um, you know, people tend to put us on like a little string until they're good and ready to show us who they really are. And I don't know why, but now I'm starting to really feel like that's what's going on here with this person. They didn't want you to see them when they were maybe at their worst, right? With the Seven of Swords and Ten of Wands, because they really valued you, they care about you, right? They want you to to love them back or, you know, whatever that feeling is supposed to be. And so they were kind of like, no, this is not gonna work. Maybe they were giving you some story and now they're showing up feeling a lot more confident and prepared. And you maybe are trying to understand how that happens, right? So it's a very interesting energy. It's, it's kind of, um, feels like something you would see in a movie in a way. I mean, if I could explain it better. Um, let's clarify the uh, King of Wands. All right, Two of Swords. Um, so I feel like the Two of Swords could represent um, 
the, again, it's that sudden change. I feel like you may be seeing that um, this person has two very different sides, right? And sometimes you maybe think that you are getting one side one day and then the other side another. I don't know why, but I feel like this is going to end up a lot better than how it started. You know, I feel like at the beginning I was kind of getting this energy and I was like, mm, I don't really know um, how this is going to turn out. Now I'm really starting to see this is actually going to be a lot better than how it looks at the moment. Um, so we have the Six of Wands, the Hanged Man, and the Seven of Pentacles. So I feel like the Six of Wands is really that success, right? Like that victory. Um, this is actually going to work out. It's going to make sense. It's going to be okay. Um, Seven of Pentacles could be about the fact that there's been a lot of build up, up up until this moment. I feel like you and this person had to go through a lot of different things to fully believe in each other. Um, and then as a team and as one, right? So this two of swords could even indicate like that push-pull. It's kind of like you and them kind of, you know, putting sword on sword, trying to uh, battle it out when really you were just both trying to um, be the best for each other, but, you know, maybe at your own pace. And so I feel like over time, what you're seeing here is that this person is really trying to catch up. You know, they're really trying to show you that they're doing the work. And the hanged man could represent hesitation. It could represent a feeling of if they did that once, maybe they'll do it again. I feel like this is a one-time thing because they just needed um, to feel a little bit uh, more prepared um, to do the next thing that, you know, they're thinking of doing here. But it, it, there really is a lot to this that could be um, seen in so many different ways. But I really hope that this was helpful and insightful um, and if you liked it and it resonated, please give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.